Hey guys, Matt with Show and Tell here, and today I am going to open some Mirage starters. I actually have these sealed starter boxes that I was going to show you and talk about too because there's some interesting differences uh, it, between the different manufacturing or printing facilities they used in the 90s. So let's see here. Let's move these starters over to the side. This one you'll notice first of all wizard symbols. You'll also notice completely sealed size. There's no opening or anything like that. On the bottom it'll also say made in the USA. Pretty straightforward. These are the different things you want to look for on a Mirage sealed starter box. The other version and this one I've seen people steer away from specifically because of these things, the differences. No magic symbols whatsoever on it. It also has an open side, like I can reach in here and touch them, but there's no way that I could get anything out of here without severely damaging the box. Same with this side. The thing to look for on these, since the plastic, you can tell the plastic's old, uh, but beyond that, you want to look for this right here, this stamp. This, this, these were printed in Belgium, is the main thing with these, and they that's why they're printed differently. Um, I believe it says on the bottom, too. Yep. Made in Belgium. Part of it's covered up. So if you see a sealed starter of this, and it looks like this, no, it's not fake or necessarily resealed. I mean, you want to always check your seals and your plastic to make sure it's authentic. And typically, that it's not too tight. Because if it's too tight, there is a chance that something might have been resealed, so you want to make sure your seals look good. You can typically, I've, I've found that you can typically tell if something's been resealed by either the tightness or the quality of the seals because a lot of the times anyone who's going to reseal something is going to do a pretty crappy job. All right. So I got five starters here I'm going to crack. We're going to see what we can get. See if there's anything we can grade. Just kind of take a look at the box there without the glare. The only major question, I guess I had to pull the it's got these pull tabs on the side. There we go. Set those over to the side there. Also, you'll notice that the ones not printed in Belgium, the ones printed in Belgium have a, an inner seal. These don't. So you'll notice like just loose cards right out of the gate. Rule book. I don't remember, it's been so long, I don't remember the exact order that these are in. I think, man, these are crisp, nice lands. Mirage is one of my favorite sets. The artwork for the lands is easily some of my favorite. So here, what we'll do... I think it might go lands into the rare. I don't know. This first box, we'll just kind of find out. So if that's the case. So I think these, these might be the rares. All right, we'll just set them aside. Caravix Hex. All right. Crystal Gold. I believe these are uncommons. Yeah, if I remember right, yeah, these are all uncommons. Original Dissipate. Brexian Vault. Wildfire Emissary. I'm just going to look at some of the artwork because, man, this, this set. This is an artist, Robert Bliss. Some of you may know. He's uh, very well known for his art to be very phallic. Interesting fact. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It's fine. Robert Bliss. 
Quirion Elves. Okay. God, these feel so much different than any of the card stock today. It's just night and day when it comes to new stuff. All right, cool, cool. We'll set this aside. We'll put the lands there. All right, let's see what we got. Reckless Ember Mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this one, I honestly don't remember very well. Yeah, though, is a reserveless card, if I'm not mistaken. And Circle of Despair. All right. A few things that I can probably grade. I'll look them over a little closer later. Speaking of grading, I have finally the Antiquities box that I opened that with Rudy in 2017. After a year and a half, Beckett has my order done. So, that means I'll do a video kind of showing what some of those grades and everything I got back ended up being. Set those aside. Flip it over. All right. And Yarrow, another Caravix Hex. Grasslands, the original fetch lands. These are worth, uh, I don't know, most of them are worth a buck or two these days. Wave Elemental. Ravenous Vampire. More Robert Bliss. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it, my mic picks up the sound, but man, these fresh, pack fresh, old cardstock cards are just, the sound is different. Everything's different about them. All right. Sadar Jabari. Flanking. Good old flanking. Venefact Bottle. Some Ron Spencer artwork. And it's green. Mindbender Spores. Another reserveless card, but, you know, who really cares, right? Obviously, I think there's some pretty obvious things that we're going for, but Lion's Eye Diamond has got to be the main thing. Caught a few of the rares there. All right. Hey, tropical storm. All right. Reign of Terror. I always love the artwork to this piece. I reached out to the artist, and unfortunately, this was one that he he didn't sell it. He gave it away as a gift so unfortunately no getting hands on that but favorable destiny prismatic boon God, all the kukamesa the kukamesa pirates is a pretty cool card but kukamesa serpent disenchant Seen Serene Heart. All right, we've seen a few decent common and uncommons, but nothing, nothing crazy. Choking Sands. That's a good one. Those used to be a buck or two. Might still be. I'm not sure. All the Guild Mages. All the guys with flanking. I thought flanking was always such a fun mechanic to play, like in a draft in any kind of sealed format. All right. Well, there's a blue one, obviously. We saw that, right? Jungle Patrol. This is a reserve list card. It's kind of interesting. Creates wood tokens, like 01 walls. Different, but all right. Phyrexian Purge. I love this card. 
We can just pay three life, destroy any number of target creatures. There's no stipulation. To Fairy's Imp. Man, these are all, I'm pretty sure all of these are reserve list cards. The Imp, I actually own the artwork to that piece because I thought it was fantastic and it has to do with Teferi as well. Una Fricker is the artist and it's just a crazy piece. And look at that guy. All right, two left. Got several reserve list cards, but we have not hit anything that I would say is uh, considered money. This one doesn't want to open for anything. All right, there we go. crazy look at that some of those are you know and they've been sitting in the box forever i've had them sealed up but like it's weird they probably just more or less curled who knows years ago all right i think i caught one of the rares but you know whatever it's always it's always a little more awkward with starters. Haunting Apparition. You know, I thought that was a rare, but I guess I could be wrong. I'll have to double check on a few of these. Tidal Wave, Radiant Essence, Elixir Vitality, Isle of Harbor. Illumination, I always like this card. Very interesting. Some Ian Miller artwork. He did this logo that's on this playmat for me. It's for our old school group, Underworld Dreamers. He actually did this logo art for me, and he did some crazy cool old school art for Mirage Block. All the guild mages. Spitting Earth, Armor of Thorns, I remember that one. Hey, first fog, I think. Divine Offering, Regeneration, man, just... Power sink. Old school power sink. Alright, let's see the rares. Abyssal Hunter. A little underwhelming. Waiting in the weeds. Infernal contract. Alright. Pay off your life. Draw four cards. Alright, final one. I guess we'll See what we can get. Mirage block was easily one of my favorite blocks. I especially love the artwork. So, I've wanted to open some of this for a while and finally doing it. Grab Sealed Fate, Sirocco, Sand Golem. At least we're seeing some different uncommons and commons in these. It's not all the same thing. Southern Commander. Yeah, they're kind of these cards are wanting to stick together. Hey, Teferi Drake. Thane, Drain Life. You know, I haven't seen a single wall of wood, have we? All right. Some duplication on the uncommon, the commons, I should say. But All right, this is it. Reflect Damage. Is it Asmira? Osmara? Osmira, something like that. And... Energy Vortex, which I think is a very cool art. That's an uncommon again. I thought I might have grabbed one too many, but hey. 
Energy Vortex. Oh, that might be a reserve list card. I'm not sure. It's got a lot of wording, so it probably is. It's also probably very bad, if I were to guess. All right. Well, we got some reserve list stuff. Nothing too crazy. I'll probably submit this stuff when I submit. I've got a bunch of stuff from the, the dark box that I opened that I still need to submit for grading to Beckett. So get that stuff sent off. I'll have some more videos here coming up before too long. See you guys.